Hi, this is David Gimberline, and this is April 7th, 2021. This is the at-home version of the University of Minnesota Shotokan Karate Training Session while they are on spring break, so we don't have that many people online, but uh, hopefully people will tune in to watch this video. So please, train along. Pick up one foot, go around with your ankle and toes, switch it away, other foot, Switch, feet together around with your knees, switch, feet together around with your hips, switch, use your legs, <coughs> bump your arms around, switch. Twist. Kick up your heels. Squatting. Put your hands on the floor, straighten your leg, squat, straighten, squat, straighten, squat, straighten, and squat. Put your feet out behind you, arch. Breathe in deep through your nose and out through your mouth. And push back, touch your chest to the floor, stretch your shoulders, your back, your neck. Forward again. Pull your feet in, squatting. Feet apart, keep it up. Stretching down and forward. Back, forward, back, forward, back, reach over one shoulder, switch, side, switch, around, Switch other way. And stop. Back, keep it up. Straighten one leg. Switch. 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 Switch and drop down. Switch, 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 and switch. Stay on the side, rotate all the way over. Stretch the outside of your thigh, breathe deep. Back, over. Back, over, back, over, and back. Switch over the other side. All the way over, stretch the outside of the thigh. And back, over, back, over, back, over, and back.
Pull your feet in, squatting. Oh. Stretch your legs and stretch down. Roll up. Round up your hips. Switch. Side to side. Squeeze one knee up into your chest. Switch. 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 Uh, one more time. Switch. And switch. Reach around behind. Grab your ankle. Switch. And switch. And switch. Shake out your legs. Turn through the uniform. We're just going to start out with some simple basics. So, Renee, back up as far as you can. We'll go see if we can go three steps forward, three steps backwards. Feet together, bow. Feet apart. Left arm, left leg forward, get in but I. You want to be up there facing the wrong way again. So you still have your left leg forward. Yep, step and punch body. Ready? One, two, three. Moving backwards. One, two, three. Moving forward. Let's try rising block. One, twist your hip. Two, three, backwards. One, two, three. Forward, outside block, so to here. One, coil, twist. Two, three. Block a little lower, John Noel. Backwards. One, two, three. Inside block, Uchiyuki, so coil underneath. One, twist. Two, three. Backwards. One, two, three. Forward, knife hand block in a back stance. One, coil block. Two, three. Better back stance, Renee. Keep your back leg super bent. One, backwards. Two, three. Eye up for a second, and shake out your legs a little bit. We're going to do some of our kicks, moving both forwards and backwards. Uh, so Renee, you're doing a pretty good job of coiling when you kick, but we talked the other day, you have to learn to recoil a little better. you got to pull your foot back quicker. So think about that as we do stuff. First of all, uh, left leg forward, uh, in a front stance is fine. Put your hands out at your own solar plexus height. You're just going to pick your knee up to touch your hands and step forward. One, knee up, and then step forward. Two, three, pick your front knee up, touch your hands and step backwards. One, up, back. Two, three. Everybody, when we do an exercise like that, and when we do the kicks in a second, try to make sure you're keeping control of your balance all the time. So you don't want to pick up your knee and then fall forward, and you don't want to pick up your knee and then fall backwards. In both cases, you want to feel like your center reaches and you control and then here, this one's kind of cool, you reach backwards. But your weight, your control is still from your center to the leg that you have supporting you. So let's try this one more time. Just that exact drill. Control your balance moving forward. 
One, knee up, and then good control. Heel, shoulders down. Three, pick up your front knee and step backwards. One, up, back. Heel, three. Good job. Arms in fighting position. We're going to front snap kick. We're just going to front snap kick and step forward. Ready? One, snap. Heel, three. Now you're going to pick up your front foot, front snap and step backwards. One, heel, three. Cindy, those are really good recoils. I see you're working on it. Good job. Moving forward, roundhouse kicks. So right now, turn your hips a little more sideways, kind of like a good fighting position. Try to pick your knee up, twist your hip sideways. One, around. Heel, three. Now kick and step backwards. Kick with your front leg. One, around. Heel, three. Forwards. One, two, three. Backwards. One, two, three. High up for just a moment. Make sure you got your legs and hips again. Everybody's doing great. Next, uh, we're going to work on a progression to one of my favorite series because I feel like it teaches me a lot. There's a couple of variations. One is from a fighting position, which is what we're going to do today. And the other one's from a back stance, uh, which you may have done before. And all you're going to do is front snap kick with your front leg and roundhouse kick with your back leg. And hopefully this fluid snap snap they teach each other what to do so still keep your head up keep your shoulders relaxed keep your arms in front fighting position front snap with your front leg roundhouse kick with your back leg one snap snap two snap three pretty darn good uh, let's back up and do it again. I would turn and do it again, but we could do that series backwards. Let's think about that for a second. Next time. Here we go. Front leg, back leg. On, snap, snap. Two, snap. Three. So, Cindy, when you do your front kicks, your posture is very good, your arms are very good, everything's fine. When you do your roundhouse kicks, you're tipping a lot sideways, and your arms go apart, yeah. So, it will help if you leave this hand here when you front kick, and then you leave it here when you roundhouse kick, so your body moves around it, from here to here, but in space it stays where it was. You get that idea? And then round up. Okay. All right. Here we go. Try it again. Let's back up. Uh, back up. I'm going to go forward. Yeah. Even though I said next time we go backwards, I changed my mind. Front leg front kick, back leg round up. Okay. One. Snap. Snap. Two. Snap. Three. It's much better. Uh, Jean-Noël and Cindy and Renee, you can all recoil better. So, Renee, we already talked about it, it just pulling your foot back is better. Jean-Noël and Cindy, pulling your foot back is not good enough. You have to use your body to recoil and your body to recoil before you move on. So get the pull to come through your whole system. Back up, try it again. Front snap kick, roundhouse kick. One, snap, snap. 
two, snap, three, snap, snap. So knew those were all better. Back up again. You're gonna start in a fighting position. You're gonna do a downward block with your front arm and front snap kick this way and then punch. So that'll be one count. I want to point out when you do this, your body and your arms and your knee all aim for the center and then you punch for the center. So please don't block over here and punch over there. Aim for the middle of you. And there's a very cool feeling here of both of these forearms and your thigh coming together while you kick and punch. They all are kind of have the same energy going forward. Left leg forward, downward block, front kick, counter punch. One block, kick, punch. And then roundhouse kick, punch. Two, kick, punch. Then recover. Block with your front arm. One block, kick, punch. Two. Recover. One block, kick, punch. Two. All right, back, do it again. Not bad. I will say, everybody did the series pretty good. The reason that your body recoils that front kick here is so that you have a base to throw your punch from in your leg. If you stand up or drop your knee, you don't have the base to punch from. And usually it means you punch late. So usually it kind of goes one, two, three, and then your punch comes way late. You want to get a squeeze here, go, boom, so that you're on the way there before your foot touches. Still two counts. One block, kick, punch. Heel. Recover. One block, kick, punch. Heel. Recover. One. Heel. Pretty good. Back. All one count. Ready? One block. Kick, punch, kick, punch. Recover. Two block. Kick, punch, kick, punch. So you have to start with your front leg, Renee. Recover. Three block. Kick, punch, kick, punch. Yep. Awesome. Back. Do it again. One, you. Oh, sorry, it was all one count. That was just me. <laughs> Silly me. One block, kick, punch, kick, punch. Three block, kick, kick. Yep. Awesome. Back. Go a little quicker. Ready? That was pretty good. So, Cindy, this is getting pretty picky. Your arms got way better because you kept thinking about it. But even though your arms stayed here, there's sometimes tension. And if you relaxed and pulled them in a little bit, they kind of wind a little bit when you kick, so that would help. Alright, so
So the request was for kata, so we will do some. Starting with Heian Shodan. Go back as far as you have room. Uh, but you need room, yep, there you go. So moving forward, Renee, you can either do little half steps or you can kind of switch your feet as you go. You can switch and then block if you want to. Here we go. I will be the mirror. John will do it the right way. Out. Hey, I'm shut up. I'm shut up. Boy. One. Two. One. Sideways, Renee. Two. Very nice. One. Two. Oh, for this way, Renee, you forgot the two. Three. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. Start here. Everybody do your downward block. One. Two. Okay, now when you move backwards, Cindy. Cindy. You can't stick your butt out when you turn and then wobble. Try to stay straighter and taller all the way through the turn. One. That's better. That was better. Go ahead, do the turn one. Then two. Oh, I forgot the two. Oh my God, three, step and punch. Good job. So even on a regular step and punch sometimes, Cindy, sometimes there's a little bit of, and then you go. Try to just glide forward without the extra bump. Better, yep. Now downward block to the front, everybody. One, three rising blocks, one, Two, three, good job, turn and block, one, two, one, two, one, three seven punches, one, two, three. One, two, one, more back stance, Cindy, more, more tall, John Noel, tall with your head, one, more back stance, Cindy, two, hey, oh, sorry, yep, so, as you step forward, Cindy, you let your weight go too much 50-50. And then sometimes you try to fix it, but it's kind of too late. So instead, uh, feel like you're going to put your foot out in front of you, but make pressure down into the ground every time you move. Squeeze down. Boom. There is no out. Back, uh, that, don't do that part. That's a little better. That's better. You can use more, more drawing arm. That's too much weight forward right now. Can you do it without putting your front heel down? Do the next turn. Do the step, don't put your front heel down. More pressure 
Oh, yeah, after. <laughs> Two. Three. Yep, oh, oh, that's too much weight forward. <laughs> but it, now you're thinking about it, and that'll make a big difference. So that was good. We're going to try hand knee down slowly. Uh, Renee has to learn it eventually here. And uh, everybody, it's good for your form. And since it's mostly back stances, that'll be great, won't it, Cindy? Out. Hand knee down. Boy, I'm a mirror. One, two, three. One. Two, three, stack and hold. One, halfway, two, snap, three. Open hands, uh, Renee. Uh, Renee, face me with your left hand out. Yep, open. One, two, Three, spear hand. Yep. Now four knife hand blocks like hand showed on at the end. One, two, one, two. Take your right hand and swing all the way across. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, one, turn it down with lock, two, rising, one, two, I make, I rest. I'll count again. Uh, Cindy, if you see if you can do all of your back stances with your heel up, just to get used to keeping your weight on your back leg. Uh oh, we forgot what happens. Yeah, so the outside arm for Renee and Cindy, your outside arm comes close to your chin or your shoulder, depends on your jaw or your shoulder, depends on who's teaching, and the other hand goes way around the outside, and your hip is sideways during this part and it turns towards the target when you do this part. Uh, John Noel, your hands are backwards. One, yes, two. Yes, that's very good, Renee. The hard part is your back knee can't go in. It has to stay out when you turn your hip. One, two, better. Yeah, no, it's better. Two, three. Great. We'll do it again. Ready? Out. And you done. And you done. Boy. One. Two. Hold. Three. Then you kind of drop your hands and do the other side. One. Yep. Two. Three. Then you stack and look to your right. One. Back fist strike. Two. And then block to the front. Three. Yep. Two more knife hand blocks and then a spear hand strike. One. Two. Three. Yep. Now four knife hand blocks like hand showed on. So you're just going to spin and block. One, two, 45. One, back to the other wall. Two, 45. Your right hand comes across. One, inside block of the wrong arm is what it really is. Yep, we have to turn towards the back wall. No, you're close. So turn towards the back wall and do that. Good. Now kick and then punch. Two, three. Front kick, punch. Uh, with your back leg. So you got kick with your back right leg. Hand out. Kick, punch. Yep. Now inside block with your left, but don't really move. One. 
of the left. Two, three. Kick with your back leg. Three, punch. Good job. Now you're going to step forward and do an augmented block. Morote uh, uke, this way. One, step forward and go. Yep, now you're going to turn and do a downward block. One, rising block 45 degrees. Two, one, two. Keep your head up, John Noel and Cindy. Now, yep. I rest. So it's super normal when you're thinking to look down. So both of you, Jean Noel, you did a beautiful block, and then you both did like it was like together, which is so nice for a couple. That was so nice. <laughs> and then it's made a little bit worse with the uh, Zoom training because people look down at the camera all the time, and it so instead of their form being like this, it's always like this. So the more you can work on keeping your head up the better off you will be. Heian Yonda, number four. So Renee, just follow along the best you can. You've actually done this one a few times. I'll be a mirror. Heian Yonda. Let me back up a little bit. Boy. One. Two. One. Stack. Go. Two. Side uh, back stance. Cindy. Side snap, elbow. One, two. Pull your foot in halfway. One, two. One, two. Front kick. Three, four. Turn this way. One, two. One, two, three. One, coil. Two. Back stand, Cindy. One, two, three. Three augmented blocks. One, two, three, four. Reach forward. Five, knee strike. Six, turn. Seven, one more step. Yep, good job. I rest. So, Cindy, I noticed that you did way better on this part. Good, good, solid control. Good job. Your back stances sometimes you forget and you're putting your weight on your front leg again. So, even on these, Throw it and leave your heel off the ground until you figure out this pressure. Yep, and pressure up. Maybe we'll do Heian go down one time. And then, uh, Cindy, did you have a kata that you wanted to do besides that? Okay. Uh, hey, I'm going up. I'll be a mirror again. Yes, I love it. Hey, I'm going Boy. To your left. One, two, three. Uh, let's start again. So you're gonna lap, start in the back stance. Keep your weight there and do this. One. Then stay in your back stance. Yep, twist your hip and punch. Two. And then circle up. Three, this way. One. Two. Three. Step forward with your right leg. Is that your right leg? One. I'm the mirror. Two. Up. Down, three, four, compress into your back leg, five, six, punch, punch. 
Big turn. One, up, down. Two. One, two. Cross this way. One, two, three. Jump. Four. Stab and hold. One, two, three. Turn. One, two, three. Maybe both John Noel and Cindy on this part, your arm is too low. It should be way up high by your. So people tell, used to tell me that your fist and your head and your arm make a line. That didn't help me. They said a pretend you're blocking. That didn't help me. And someplace along the line said put your forearm where your head is. And ever since that day, I put my hand in the right spot. So it's different for different people, whatever you imagine it to be. In the olden days, it was not this. Most of these were much closer, much smaller, covering your head, hitting. This becomes less and less useful, but it's the way our standard form is nowadays. Any question about hand going on? I think we're going to do Joan. I will do Joan sideways. Ah, uh, you're good. Uh, Joan is very long kata, Renee, so, but a lot of the movements in it look pretty basic, so should be able to follow along. Out. Joan. Yeah. Boy. One. Two. Three. One, two, three, four. One, two, uh -oh. one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, turn into one of these. Two, drop. One, uh-oh, am I going too fast? We'll, we'll go back again. Two. Yep, downward block. One. Three palm heel strikes. One, two, three. Now turn into one of these. One. And then stand up like this. Two. One. Two. One, pick your knee up and pull your hands back like this. One, two, three. Step forward, double inside block. One, high block. Two, one, two, three. Inside block, step and punch. One, two, one, two, one. Three stompy things. One, two, three. One, two. One, two. Five. Five. All right, we will do the parts a little bit more. Out. Gion. Boy. Yep. So put your left hand out and punch it with your right. Now, when you do the first move, this is an X block, like Kayon Sandan or something, a uh, double block. But a big mistake is people step backwards. In the original forms, it was more like a Sanchen. You stayed right here. So even though you put your foot back, mostly drop. Don't shift backwards and block. 
better stay here, drop. So, one. Then stack this way. One, and 45 degrees out. Two. Front kick punch. One, two, three, four. Yep, now do the same thing to the other 45. One, two, one, two, three, four. Now, when I'm practicing this, I do big, giant motions. When I apply it, I don't. But wind up this way. One, big twist. Two, three, counter punch. Then you can do it again. One, two, three. One, two, jump and punch. Three. Now you're going to turn and do one of these. One, and then drop your weight down and punch. Two. One, two. Downward block to the back. One. Uh, three palm heel strikes and keep it up. One. Palm, two, three. Turn and do another one of these. One, two, standing up. One, two, one. You're gonna pick your knee up, drive forward, X block. One, yep, step back, two. Step forward, double inside block. One. Step forward one more time, X block this way. Two. So now, leave your left hand where it is and drive your right hip and right hand forward. One. And then it's like techie. Two. Yep. Turn it inside block. One. Step and punch. Two. One. Sorry, two, one. Now you're gonna do three of these stompy things. Your downward block that's out in front right here. Cindy, your hand stays there and your body moves. So this is kind of like a guard or protection or hold. You go one, two, drop. Yep, now leave your right hand there. One, two. One, two. Turn and block with your right hand. One, two. Then pull your left foot in and look. One, two. Hey. Hi. Okay, so almost all of us on this end part. Can you hold this for a second? Uh, let's start with this way. Almost all of us on this were taught you have a right foot plant and this goes in. So that's possible, but not against body. This is a, you can work at this for 10 years and not get a significant shock from it. If you, uh, I need your fingers out of the way. If you hit this way, if you went one, two, works on the first day. So this is a superior way to hit for this technique. For most applications, it's not if you're. Uh, can you come over here for a second? Uh, a good application here would be if he grabs me and I squeeze this, and there's a target, boom, and I hit it with my fist. I've dropped people with just that little tap right on the right vulnerable spot. But if I'm struggling with him, this is far superior. Just hammer with your hammer fist strike. So, I don't care if people go one, two, or they go one, two. They're both fine. It just eventually you got to figure out applications for them. This next part I care about. So, you're right here. What you just did is you planted your right foot and drove off it. What you should do again is plant your left foot and drive off it. Because... At close distance, this is strong. Boom! You'll drive through the target. 
But because we do non-contact sparring where people shift all the time, people have started to go one, two, and it's almost worthless. It's not very strong. You can try hitting something, you'll keep bouncing off. There's not proper structure or distance to make that work. If I was back here, I could say, yeah, shift it and hit it, that would work. But assuming I'm close enough to plant my foot, I have to drive off it to get any penetration. So I'm saying to do the two moves the same, one, two, one, two, even though most people nowadays don't do it that way. They like the other shift because that's what they learned in Kumite. Um, there are very, very few applications where that shift would work in this position. There's a lot of them where if I establish a base, I can hit, I can hit, I can twist and pull, lots of them. So, even, uh, can you grab a good one with both hands? Uh, let's say, oh, I like one for a second. My application is to go one, two, and I want to do the circle one because that's what I like. When he grabs me, I'm going to squeeze in here, pull my back foot up, and stretch across and go two and see how he's going down. If I was shifting and trying this, it, it doesn't work. I don't have the leverage. If I shot to maybe, maybe I could hit him and hurt, but it's an awkward position. I'd be better off turning towards him, not staying sideways. Long talk. I did Gion for like 20 years. So <laughs> I, uh, I worked out a lot of detail. I did it for uh, my knee down test. Um, so, for Shodan, I did Kankudai, because everybody did Basadai, and I thought it was boring. I tried MP, it was way too hard for me. And Joan, Joan sucks. Joan is as long as Kankudai, and as hard as MP. And people just don't know that, because they don't work at it. But, so, after uh, I did Kankudai for Shodan, I started working on... Uh, Actually, I started working on hung guts, but they told me, do it later. <laughs> um, so I, I picked up Joan. I, I really, I liked it. I enjoyed it. it. It's long, though. You need endurance to do it. Uh, but it is a complicated kata. It's a little more sophisticated than it seems. It seems like it's very straightforward. But uh, to make all the techniques uh, have body shock and direction, that seems hard to me, difficult. Any questions about Jion? Forehand Godan, forehand Yondan, forehand Nidan. Great, let's do hand Shodan again. Hand Shodan for Renee. Out, at that, and Shodan. Boy, to your left. One, two, one. Two, three, one, three rising blocks. One, two, three, turn and downward block. One, two, one, two, one, three stepping punches. One, two, three, turn and knife and block. One, 45, two, one, two, and diamonds. So one thing I want to mention uh, for application concepts, mostly for Cindy, because John Noel already knows this, and Renee will know it in just a moment if she doesn't already, is that the Basics as they are taught don't mesh with the kumite basics anyway, don't mesh with the kata. So if John does a step and punch and I step backwards and I do a rising block, this is what most people learn first and then you counter punch. I mean, that's a basic idea of how to use a block. Now, I happen to do 30 different kata, 26, 27 of them are Shotokan. Not one time do you step backwards do a rising block counter punch. Not once in the whole kata. They all go forward, forward, like Han Shodan does, like Gion does. 
So I would have to get him back up, to step and punch there, one, for me to be able to call that a block. And you could say, well, he's holding a stick. Well, that doesn't matter. If he's holding a stick, then it hits me in the head as I'm trying to block it. If he punches where I am from either a stepping punch or a swinging punch, and I step forward, my rising block becomes a strike. So it fits here. This angle fits across his neck, rises up into his jaw. My knee hits his inner thigh or his knee joint, and I twist my hip and drive backwards. My pulling arm pulls. So, uh, in the pattern for Hayan Shodan, you go one, reach, strike, two, block, strike. That's my opinion. So, he's relatively close. He throws the punch. I go one, two. That's my first one. I have a little more distance where he, he's bigger than me. And I don't want to stay here. I'm going to crowd this and then attack. One, two. So it fits the pattern of going block, strike, block, strike. It, it, and you keep moving forward because it puts him off balance. He can't fight moving backwards. The reason I bring this up is it's going to change your angle from being like this to being where it fits along his neck. So... Some people will say, well, you're not covering your head. Well, uh, it depends. I mean, in a, in a static situation, you might not be. Because I, be, I believe that it could be either a block or a strike. But if he punches at my head and we're moving, I'm, I blocked it. It didn't hit me. But if I stand here, he can reach across and hit my head. So it's not a good test to, to, to be in a static position and say whether or not it covers. That was good, John. So anyway, I find it changes things if you think block, strike, block, strike. It changes how you move. It changes your intent. Uh, the only other thing I want to say about that is it's extremely versatile. We could be grappling here where he's trying to hurt me. All I want to do is push him away, and I push him back and away. That's fine. It could be I need to hit him because he's doing the same thing. And I go, whoa, I drive my elbow up and my forearm up. I can turn it into a strike instantly. So good, solid actions, primary target. It disappeared as the art became more public and all the targets for safety became body and head and all the weapons became closed fists. No more fingers, no more edge hand, no more palm fists. So... There you go, that's that long talk. I think we're done though for karate for the day. It's a little short, but it's kind of warm out and I'm kind of tired. <laughs> so, any more questions? No? Then I think we're gonna go. Thank you, I hope all of you come on Friday. Uh, it's been a low turnout with the spring break, so come on back at Friday at six. Bye-bye, <laughs> thanks. Bye, everyone.